Hello everyone and welcome to your second Android Studio tutorial. This is Mocha and today we'll be doing some stuff such as installing our SDK like some older versions of SDK and creating our Android virtual device. So today we're going to try to install an API level 14 SDK. Why is that so? Because um, currently not all phones are really up to date and are updated. So to target 90% of the home Android market, I highly suggest you download any API level which is above 12. But the optimal one is API 14. So I'm going to do that right now. So click, you can click this icon here. It's the SDK manager. Wait for it to load. And the SDK manager provides you a list of things to download. So there's different APIs, documentations, and Google support libraries. But you just need to just click this checkbox right here and download the Android 4.0 which has an API level of 14. So you want to install these packages, so just click this right here, I have all these installed. So I'm not going to do that again. Once you have that done, you're set up for the SDK. Now to create the Android virtual device, also known as the AVD, you can click it right here. This is the icon, the AVD manager. So an AVD is basically an Android emulator, okay? So you just need to click create virtual device. It will bring you up to this window right here and you can choose between TV, phone, where tablet. Normally, I'll choose phone. And you can choose different types of phones. Let's do the GAD. Yeah. Let's do the Nexus 5. So with the dimensions of the Nexus 5. Ah, yes, a big phone. Hey god. This is considered a phone. How big is it? Anyway, get this sorted. We'll have this. We'll choose this. We'll click on it. Next. Oh, okay, this is this part. It's not related to Android programming. Just choose any. Just choose any icon you want. I'll just choose this. It just gives you this icon. It's nothing much, seriously. So. This is your ratio scale. Normally, I'll just set it to auto. Store a snapshot. Yes, I'll use this. I'll actually use this. Store snapshot. But if you do not want it, you can ignore. You can just uncheck this box. After you are done with all this, just click finish. And you create the AVD for you. So whenever you run a job, the, uh, an Android application, you can either choose a running Android device by just plug it in in your USB port or you can choose the AVD. Personally, I'll use the a running device, but if you do not have an Android device, that's okay. The AVD is there to save. So that's about it for this tutorial. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.